From the beginning of time, we've been surrounded by them. Billions of them. The oldest living organisms on Earth. They are bacteria. They live in us, on us, and can save our lives. But is this microbial world truly understood and appreciated? 40 million of them in a gram of dirt. They function together, almost like another of the body's organs. They can reproduce asexually. And their effect on human history is clear. E. coli, bubonic plague, leprosy, cholera, syphilis, anthrax have killed more people than wars, accidents, and natural disasters combined. When one hears the word bacteria, you think of something very negative. These are the ones that get all the press. That's actually unfortunate because most bacteria are not negative. Our lives would be probably impossible without what bacteria do for us. Just in terms of numbers of cells, 90% of us is made up of bacteria. But what about the good bacteria known as probiotics? Probiotics really excites me because I think we're going to be able to treat people with non-pharmacologic agents. People still think we should be killing bacteria and not giving them. I can tell you my own colleagues think I'm whack, wanting to give probiotics. You know, most probiotics now are consumed in pill form, a capsule, a tablet, or a powder, or in yogurt. Anywhere where there are mixed bacterial communities, there is the idea that fortifying the beneficial ones at the expense of the others is a decent way forward. In the near future, we may be able to provide resistance to certain infections with probiotics rather than using traditional vaccines. Someday, then you take your child to the doctor, you know, rather than getting an injection, they'll receive a probiotic vaccine mixture that can vaccinate against a number of different diseases at once. Can probiotics help us with digestive problems, have positive effects on the immune system, and prevent obesity? Discover why probiotics are a promising line of defense for a long and healthy life. These are the Micro Warriors.